Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about some of the improvements that Cadence have made to the, uh, the the 3D canvas in AUKAD and Allegro in QIR5 in 17.2, which was a uh, Hotfix 31. So, majority of the changes are actually available under the export menu. So, file export. Um, we can now export a step file. We can also now export um, a 3D PDF file. So, the advantage of being able to do it in the 3D canvas is you can actually control what you export now. Um, so what I can do is obviously control by turning off just the objects that I want to see. So maybe I just wanted to see some of the connectors and uh, we'll also maybe turn on some of the ICs. Once I enable what I want to see, it's literally just file, export, choose the step file that I want and export a step file. So that would then just export what's available to me on the canvas. Um, with the 3D PDF, um, if I just turn off everything, and then, so say I want to just do an export of the of the board outline, for example, or the board and, and what I'm seeing here. So file, export, change this to 3D PDF, pick the 3D PDF and dump the file out. Once I've done that, um, in a, an Adobe kind of Adobe Reader, so um, with Windows 10, it's an Acrobat uh, Reader DC. You can see now what I'm seeing here effectively is, I'm about to rotate this file, spin it round. So there's effectively, the top side view, just carry on spinning that round. Wait for it to redraw. So that's the bottom side view. Bring that back round. There's a top side view. So you can actually do 3D rotations and stuff inside uh, a PDF. It is a large file, um, but Canes are effectively generating everything it is into the Adobe Reader file, and then it's up to the Adobe Reader file to read that file and look at it. So 